All right, hello, and welcome to Inside. So, this game is short, but this game is really profoundly good. Uh, the moment-to-moment -moment in this game is very, very strong, and the art style is really, really good, and is used really well. Like, the perspective is used really, really well, and just overall... This game as like a successor to Limbo, because this game is from the makers of Limbo, is just really, really good. And there's a lot of stuff in this game that I don't want to spoil, which is why we're kind of just at like this really early part here, just because I wanted to show it. Because I think that this part is pretty good. Um, things get a lot weirder and crazier later. But... It's, um, it's just a, it's really just such a super solid puzzle game, the likes of which I haven't seen since, like, Portal 1. I think Portal 1 is the last, like, short game that I experienced in, like, the same kind of way that I did this one. Also, I forgot to turn this on. Yes, yes, go right over here. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Yeah, lots of, like, simple solutions like that, uh, but ones that are like, fun to execute. Uh, I don't think this game is, like, particularly hard, but just as an experience is just really, really solid. Can I get in here? Actually, there's actually, like, a lot of secrets in this game, so there's some things that, uh... That I'm, I'm still looking for in this game. Because going, like going back and playing it is still really fun. Uh, and there are certain parts of the game that are super spoilers that I will not show. Uh, that are not only really awesome from a story perspective, but feel really, really good to play. And the, the environments are really varied too. In fact, I think that we... Uh, We'll probably we'll skip ahead to like a, a different environment real quick just to kind of show the different areas of the game. All right, so this is kind of the the last little area I'm going to show. Uh, this is like in a city. There's not like any like super heavy spoilers here or anything. I'm trying to avoid those at all costs. Um, like the environments do get pretty cool. And like here, uh, I will show a little secret though. This is, this is not hard to find. I, I initially found this by falling down here and dying. Um, but this is like the little collectible. This is what I was kind of trying to keep my eye out before beforehand. And you can uh, destroy those. Those are little achievements and stuff. Uh, and I, believe, I believe they have some, some larger purpose as well that I'm not 100% certain on. Uh, but the environments are really cool. And like art-wise, like art they stay pretty bleak. Um, but they do change it up enough that, like, you don't feel like you're just in the same place over and over. Uh, certainly not towards, uh, towards the middle of the game where there's some real crazy shit. I think we'll head up over here and, like, there's... There's so much I want to say about this game, but can't, because it's, like, all spoilers. So, I think I'll just end it here, uh, and head through this door.
God, it's really hard to stop playing.